Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Mad Magic. You've all heard of the One Ring, and specifically the One One Ring. Thalid, for those living under a rock, explain to everybody what the One One Ring was. Is well, there was a copy of the One Ring that was serialized, and it was a one of one, and it was released in the newer set, and came out in the last six months or so. The Lord of the Rings uh, Universe's Beyond set, and it was purchased by Post Malone for, I believe, 2.6 million USD. So a very rare card, very coveted card. But today, but in that case, though, it was unique because it just had a single printing of a particular artwork. But what we got for you today are the top 10 most rare cards in Magic probably ever. So these cards are cards that came from all different places. They're not necessarily in circulation, but they are in fact all real cards. They're not necessarily tournament legal or tournament legal anymore. But this is a really cool list. And unless you're a super duper Magic nerd like Salad, you probably have not heard of all these. So why don't you go ahead and take it away. What's number 10? Number 10. Number 10 today, we have the 1996 World Champion card. 1996 World Champion. Cannot be the target of spells or effects. World Champion has the power and toughness equal to the life total of your target opponent. Pay zero. Discard your hand and search your library for the 1996 World Champion card. Reveal it to all players. Shelf your library and put the card on top of your library. Use this ability only at the beginning of your upkeep and only if the 1996 World Champion is in your library to begin with. Go yeah, ahead. It was, it was won by uh, Tam Champagne, I believe, um, in the 1996 World Championships, as the card would um, denote, um, in which he defeated a notorious cheater, Mark Justice. It was sold to an undisclosed buyer, and that's the only information I can find on the card. Um, there has been some other offers on the card. Uh, the buyer, as far as I know, is the, the, the owner of the card is uh no one knows who really has it right now as far as i'm as far as i know as far as i can find but that's the only all the information i can find on the card in 1996 he won with a white weenie deck and here are the cards that he played with this is a really exciting time back in magic and he of note played with 12 protection from black cards back when necro and discard and some other things were floating around there but that's the deck that he one within the finals. And what's also interesting about the 1996 card was that as part of the ceremony of his victory, they brought out all the other copies of the card as well as the printing plates and made a ceremony out of destroying all of them. So it is in fact the only card available in the whole world and we do not know who owns it. All right, card number nine. Number nine. Deeper of the Secret Lair, also known as Destroyer of the Secondary Market. <laughs> oh boy so where did this card come about uh this is one of those cards that it, it's come from the uh what's known as the heroes of the realm and heroes of the realm is a series of cards that are produced by wizards or hasbro and they're awarded to uh employees of hasbro or wizards for achieving uh or for certain achievements as employees and if you read the card, it's a good card. It is a good card and probably given to the person who invented the whole universe beyond thing, you know? All right, now I can do anything with our cards at all, <laughs> including making one just for me. <laughs> but it is a good card. Flash, you may cast secret layer spells as though they had flash. And secret layer spells you cast cost one less to cast. So it's pretty good in its own right. Um, okay, card number eight. Number eight. This is another Heroes of the Realm card, uh, the Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master is a Planeswalker. And I love that his loyalty counter is one die four plus one. So probably got to roll that when he comes into play. His plus one ability is target opponent. Opponent now. Creates a one one black skeleton creature token with when this creature dies, each opponent gains to life. And then another plus one is roll a 20-sided dice. If you roll a one, skip your next turn. If you roll a 12 or higher, 
draw a card. That's pretty cool. And then negative six is you get an adventuring party. Your party is a 3-3 three, three red fighter with first strike, a 1-1 one, one white cleric with lifelink, and a 2-2 two, two black rogue with hexproof, and a 1-1 one, one blue wizard with flying. Frankly, I have seen better planeswalkers that are out there, but a unique dungeon master all the same. What? Why does this card exist? Uh, dude, this is a very cool Heroes of the Realm card. Uh, to me and the coolest thing about the card is the likeness in the art pretty much looks like every dungeon master i've ever met in my life number seven right Next go ahead up, take your time champion. uh champion of artistry archery i'm sorry champion of art archery. this is a uh legendary card it's also uh can be an adventure and it's a creature so the sorcery adventures you may put a legendary card from your hand uh, on t into the command zone. It is also your commander. So this allows you to have two commanders and then uh, you can just play them as a creature with reach as a one four creature. Commanders you control get plus X plus zero where X is the number of commanders you control. So somewhere out there you can end up with like a plus two to um, each of your commanders because you have well, what, them. What's really cool about this card is too, like it's not just one commander. Think about like if you could activate this card in some way or recur this card multiple times, cast it using its adventure ability, you, you could have 10 commanders in the command zone if you have the legendary cards in your deck. If you're starting out with simply um, the champions of artistry in your command zone, of course, you'd have to be mono red, but still, that's really cool. Right, so 10 commanders and you just start breaking everything. All right, card number six. This kind of looks like a My Little Pony, um, but we have uh, Ursula, <laughs> friend, friend to all. All right, where'd this card come from? This is another one of the Heroes of the Realm uh, cards, and this is a Planeswalker. And it counts as your commander if you want it to. So it's a five color card with five loyalty. Your plus one is create a one one human wizard creature token that's all colors. Negative three is choose a card name from among Enlightened Tutor, Mystic Tutor, Booster Tutor, Imperial Recruiter, and Worldly Tutor. Create a copy Sick. of the card with the chosen name and you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Not that really the mana cost is that big of a deal, but certainly be able to grab any one of those cards. And then negative eight, you get an emblem with at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control 20 or more wizards, you win the game. Now, this is a very cool card, man. Uh, if if there is one one of two cards, the next one is the, the one we're going to talk about that I would actually use as a commander that could be used in uh, in a real commander game and has utility. It's Wooberg, and that minus three ability is really cool. Number five. This is a really cool looking card. Soul Advocate Eternal. Four mana, one of each color with the exception of the red. He is a 4-4 four, four legendary dragon angel, which is pretty cool. He's got an ability called Legendary Partner, which is you can have two commanders if this is one of them. And the other one is promoted to legendary, so it doesn't even have to be a legendary card. He's got Flying and Vigilance. And then he has this teamwork ability that whenever you attack or block with both Soul Advocate Eternal and its partner, you trigger support for and investigate four times. That's not even remotely broken. This, this <laughs> is this is so broken because if you think about like your promote any possible card that you could imagine you can use in the command zone in conjunction with this. Um, so. If you have a gold card, you can be in five colors, which is obviously a huge advantage. Or there's other stuff like maybe you want to use Bloom Tender in your command zone or something like that. Or something that you could, that's not necessarily leg legendary that you could get off on turn one. And not only that, um, I'm not really sure what support four is, but investigate four times, create four clue tokens, absolutely broken. This is one card that I would for sure love to proxy and make a fun commander deck out of. Sadly, they're declaring at the bottom that it is not legal in any format. But friendly commander, everything is legal except 
Nico Bolas and Grizzle Bay. Number four. Okay, number four is a card called Proposal. Um, the thing about these next cards that we're going to be discussing, they're known as the Richard Garfield event cards. And they're cards that were all um, based upon the uh, events in Richard Garfield's life that were very significant. We all know Richard Garfield as, as our guy who created the best game that's ever existed, right? And this one's for white and basically proposed to your first wife. <laughs> I, I just want to okay sorry Richard you know we are going to rip on you a little bit because that's what we do here and the card is allows Coda to propose to Mayumi if the proposal is accepted both players win mix the cards and play both libraries and both graveyards as a shared deck you know I think that they should make a um, a rata to this which is and Mayumi owns half the cards in Richard's deck from here on out <laughs> That's probably like so he gave this me. card to as a as like his engagement right and and tell me the story uh best you hear it of how this card got presented to her well all i know is that if he printed this card i hope that he uh had some sort of uh pre-existing contract that he signed with his wife as a prenup before he sold wizards of the coast to hasbro <laughs> Right, and I had heard that, um, oh, we were chatting about this before, that he actually set up a game of Magic, right, and stuck the card in there? Yep. And in the, Right? I have never really met any women that like to play this game. I know you are out there, but you are just sadly not watching our channel. So, um, yeah. yes, number Maybe three. What is three percent ladies that would like to watch our channel and maybe perhaps subscribe. We love you. Yes. Yes, we do. All right. What is um, card number three? Well, apparently no one told Richard Garfield that uh, marriage should be on the reserve list uh, because he uh, was married more than once. And this one's called Phoenix Heart. And I'm the real Richard Garfield. And I know what you're thinking. Do I give all of my bottom bitches their very own magic card? Answer. Yes. And it is a testament to that. It's four red for a sorcery. Uh, Coney and Richard continue the game and play all games as partners forever. You know, I I pulled up a, or found this, you know, online that this was a, uh, actually graded nine. So I thought that was interesting. If this is truly a one of, um, that his wife des decided to go, Send this in, right? Where'd he send it to? What was the what was the grading? Um, CGC. It again, yes, yes, he gave it to CGC. And so on a side note, Richard Garfield's family thinks that CGC is the appropriate and most worthwhile grading system, right? That there is, right? Yeah, back in and all this other one, PSA, blah, blah. Well, they decided to use CGC. So anyone who's kind of wondering, to me that seems like that's the thumbs up because I got to imagine that she's still holding on to this card, right? Number two. Card number two. This might be the only card on our list that is worth less than what it costs the creator of the card to present. Splendid <laughs> Genesis. Legend has it that, um, well, this card is also known as a financial burden. <laughs> right. So this was given to or created to celebrate the birth of his first child, right? Yep. Yeah. Shuffle yep. all cards in the game together and deal them into three decks. The game continues with the new player. It is a um, very poetic way, Splendid Genesis. To, yeah, it's a really to, sweet uh, card. It's a really, it's really sweet. But you know, we right with the about. little hand around, right around that. So I, I got to imagine that I don't know how many of these got made. I mean, maybe he passed out a few, right? Like his birth yeah. announcements or something. I, I, I've heard and I've read that um, um, he actually gave these to 
uh, as part of the announcement that his wife was pregnant, that he gave them to some employees of Wizards of the Coast, which is really cool. Card number one is, I'm going to take this one away here, Thalad, because this one's super important. It is the rarest. Be the only card on our list. Most powerful. That is. Most badass card. Worth less. Ever made. Worth less. Worth less. Thalad's grandma. Okay, no really. The real number one. Card number one is um, a card called Fraternal Exaltation. Now, the ch like, this is for blue for sorcery. Sneak into your parents' closet to get a deck. Your new brother is joining the game. And I have heard, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but the child did not want to go into the closet at first because of what he had found in there in priority. Sneak into your parents' closet and find stuff you didn't think you were going to find. Uh, this card was made uh, because uh, in anticipation of having a second child, Rich Garfield. Um, it was also made to um, j uh, to justify the discomfort that that ch the first child may have felt for being the first to go into the closet. Right, I'm going to make you feel more comfortable by telling you to go into my closet, little Bobby. And then he's all like. Dad, that's okay, Dad. I'm good. He's like, no, no, no. You go into, you go into, you go into my closet. And he's like, I, I don't, nope. I don't want to go in there. You know, he's like, damn it, Bill, you get in there and you watch me bang your mom. There's Not a couple of valid grandmas. They're just dead. Magic. <laughs>